In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the ins and outs of how to properly work Zoom. We're going to cover downloading Zoom so that it's on your computer and you can actually run it through the app versus running it through zoom.com. We're going to cover how to send a client an invitation so all they have to do is click a link to join your meeting. I'm going to show you how to start the meeting and then how to run all of the proper processes in Zoom while the meeting is started. All right, let's get into it. All right, so first things first, you need to download Zoom onto your computer if you have not done that already. So just go to Google, simply type in Zoom. All right, and then simply click download right here. And now you're gonna download the first one that says Zoom Client for Meetings. Once it's done loading, just go down and click the installer and simply click Run. Let it initialize. And there you have it. Now you have Zoom downloaded onto your computer. Now I'm on a PC, but I believe it's very similar on a Mac. But what I like to do is go down to the search function on your computer. On PC is Cortana, on Mac, I can't remember what it's called, but there's a search function there as well. All you wanna do is type in Zoom. And then what I like to do is pin to taskbar. So it's gonna be down here with all my favorites. So I'm gonna do that. All right, now that it is pinned to my taskbar, I'm gonna move it where I want it, which is right there. That's where I normally have it. And then now that you know where Zoom is, rather than going onto the browser and typing in Zoom and being on zoom.com or whatever it is, um, open it on the app instead. So open it on the app and now sign into your Zoom account. Okay, now that you're signed in, um, I'm gonna show you how to invite people to a meeting. So if you do have a one-on-one -on -one consultation and you wanna invite people to a meeting so that they can just click the link and join your meeting, this is how you do it. So just go down to where it says new meeting, click that arrow, and then go down to your number right here and they go to copy invitation. So we're gonna click that. It has now copied the invitation. So now all we have to do is go to your email Compose a new email to whoever that you want to send this to. You can put whatever you want in the subject. Simply right click and go to paste. And there you have it. There's your invitation. All they have to do is click this link and it will go straight to your Zoom invitation. And all you have to do is admit them into your meeting. Don't forget to hit send. All right, so how do you start your meeting? Well, all you must do is click this orange button with the camera icon. It says new meeting right here. Just click the icon. It'll connect, and then now we have started the meeting. Now, I'm gonna join with computer audio. You can also test the speakers and microphone if you'd like to, but we can do that later as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and join with computer audio, because most likely everything you have is gonna be plugged into your computer anyway. So join with computer audio, and I'm gonna go ahead and make this full screen. And as you can see, I don't have my camera plugged in at the moment, and it's got a red mark straight through the start video function down here to the bottom left. Um, that either means that you haven't connected your camera, you haven't turned on your camera, or you don't have your camera plugged in. But how do we ensure that our audio is working? Well, the first thing you can do is if you come down here to the bottom left and it is marked through like this, that means that your audio is muted and absolutely no one will hear you. Now, assuming your audio is connected to the proper inputs and outputs and everything, all you have to do is unmute yourself by clicking this button and now everyone can hear you, but let's assume that you haven't connected your input properly. Well, here's how you would do that. Click the arrow pointing up right next to the microphone icon, and then here where it says select a microphone, make sure that you have it set to the proper input. For me, I have my microphone plugged into my interface, which is the Universal Audio Twin USB, so that's exactly what I would choose here. Next, you wanna ensure that you can hear everyone in the Zoom call and you do the exact same thing. Basically, you just go down here to the arrow pointing up and then where it says select a speaker, make sure that it is set to the proper output. My speakers and my headphones are plugged into my interface, so that's what I have checked right here, Universal Audio Apollo Twin USB. Now, if I had my camera plugged in and it was set to the proper camera on my computer, I would literally just click this button and just like unmuting yourself, the camera would turn on and you could see me. I don't have it plugged in at the moment, but all you would do to set the input if you didn't have your camera set properly is click that arrow just like you did with the audio and then select a camera. 
all you would do is select the camera that you wanted it to be set to. Now, I have a Logitech Capture uh, webcam, and that's exactly what I would choose, which is already on. I just don't have it plugged in. But if I have it plugged in, I would just click this button, and it would take that red mark, and it would go away, and all of a sudden, you could see me. And it's that simple. Now, to make sure that you record the meeting, if that's what you told the client you would do, you would simply press this record button right here, and it would start recording the meeting. Now, once the person's in here, you would hear a new function that they've just added is it says uh, recording in progress. It's going to say that out loud for everyone just so that everyone's consenting to you recording the video. Now, let's say you needed to share your screen. All you must simply do is press the green share screen icon right here, and then it gives you a few options. But if you just want to share your screen, that's all I would share. I would just share my screen right here, and then all you do is click share. But one other thing is I like to share my sound as well, so I'm going to make sure that box is checked. And that way, everything that you're doing, say in Adobe Audition or in any other program that you're doing, is going to actually share your computer sound as well as uh, the sound in your microphone. So that way your client is hearing everything that you're doing in a much greater detail than if you did not click this button. So I always check that box and then click share. One other thing I like to do when I first start my meeting is click participants right here. And then over here to your right, you can see who's joined your meeting. And you can do a whole bunch of things over here. You can um, go to more right here and it will give you a bunch of options for whoever's in the meeting and you can you can mute them you can you can turn off their camera you can do a whole bunch of things whatever you might want to do um, and of course you can mute them just by clicking that button as well another thing to note is if for whatever reason the client cannot hear you um, all you have to do is simply click chat right here go down here and you can enter any message for them to be able to see so you could say something like this for example and then you could send a chat. And that way you could tell them, make sure your input is set to the correct audio device so that then you'd be able to hear them and they'd be able to hear you. And you could say the same thing for your output. But this way, you can actually chat with them and connect with them if they can't hear you. But you can also send links through this as well. So if in your meeting you're telling the client about uh, a website or a product that you really like, you can go ahead and copy the link and paste it here for the client to be able to see. All right, and to end the meeting, just simply go down here to the bottom right-hand corner, click End, and then End Meeting for All. And there you have it.